7.22 on day 19. Why am I leaving so late, especially on a 27 kilometer day? Well, I need a breakfast because uh, you know the drill already. I was debating whether to stay and have it or just go ahead and leave uh, around 5. But uh, I opted to eat something since uh, the last couple of days has been so dry that, uh, yeah, you know, cafe con leche, croissant and bread and a tiny little glass of orange juice. It hit the spot. Kinda leaving town late today, it's almost 8 o'clock. Temperature's already at 22.5 Celsius and that's, uh, that's gonna climb fast. But uh, yeah, I had to explore the town a little bit, especially from the air. I have my 4.5 liters of water for the day, half of what I took for that big crossing. I am now officially out of the desert of the farmlands <laughs> i already have my place for today i will be camping but not the way that you think should get there around 2 p.m it is sunday everything closes by 2 p.m but uh this place doesn't i have a half a baguette with butter it's gonna be my snack my brunch leaving town already Umbrella is out and to think I almost left at home. I think I would have canceled the trip if I would have had to walk all these days without an umbrella. I just wouldn't have been able to make it. Just uh, left town and guess what? Almost the last house there was an old lady and she came forward and she was like she wanted to uh, offer me water and I'm good right now but I was thinking where were you yesterday I think you should move to the other side of town what a crazy day it was yesterday but you know like I said we're gonna have a few of those like this especially here in France uh, I think already crossed the halfway point way crossed it should take a I think the original plan was to cross France in 30 days. So uh, gearing up to that moment when I reach uh, Switzerland. And then I'm gonna be complaining about the mountains. <laughs> It is at the village of uh, Unionville. Thank you, Google. Where I found not one, but two water fountains. One was uh, by the church, and uh, although it wasn't uh, drinkable, even though anything going through my filter in my camel bag I can drink, I joined a couple of wasp on a mid morning shower. <laughs> it is also here in this town where I part ways with the Via Francigena for a little bit. The Via Francigena goes in a different direction through other towns, but since today is a 27 kilometer day for me, and I started a little bit late, I wanna get to town as fast as I can, and I'm gonna take the shorter route, or the straight route. It's been a day by the shade, which is amazing. The landscape has changed dramatically. Long gone are the days of the wheat fields and uh, the plains. And I'm now in more uh, covered terrain. The woods, I love the woods. 
like I said before, is a love and hate relationship. Uh, I'm walking on a, on a road, not much traffic, back country roads. Uh, it is uh, it is getting warmer, but I think that the shade is gonna help me today. Let's see how it goes. Jason. The church is open. There's no stamp, but things are changing. I had a Pepsi at the bar that was open right across the street. And uh, man, things are starting to change. I can see El Camino all over again. And it's only gonna get better. You know, just outside uh, Dulancourt by the railroad, I met the, the two pilgrims from Australia, Peter and Kathleen. I didn't get to say goodbye yesterday, actually I only saw them uh, when I was checking in and I thought, man, I didn't get to say goodbye. But as uh, I was getting close to town, I just saw them and our path uh, crossed uh, shortly. They went a uh, separate way and uh, hopefully I'll see them in the next few days. She, they say uh, there's a few people up ahead, so we're getting there, starting to see people. That's always a good sign. Bump into another pilgrim, yeah. David from uh, Barcelona. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué pasa, aventurero? <laughs> Today has just been a day of uh, meeting all the pilgrims in El Camino. <laughs> He's going on a bicycle, doing about 100k a day. He started only six days ago. Mm. Incredible. <laughs> Ciao! Man, what a day. Three pilgrims in one day. He's actually riding to Rome in a bicycle. It's gonna take him uh, 33 days. I envy the guy, just a little bit. We talked for about half an hour. He's been to Cuba, lived there for a while. He's Italian and lives in uh, Barcelona. Man, I'm almost uh, to town. Should be there in about, uh, say about an hour and a half. What a great day. Anybody knows what this is? Hopefully it's not poisonous, but it's very sweet. It's a little snack. Finally made it to town. Bar sur robe. And lunch. <laughs> lunch was at a special place. Remember I was following the Roman road to us, to the Golden Arches. Well, McDonald's is actually in this town, not in the town that I stayed yesterday. And love them or hate them, they're open even after two on a Sunday here in France. So I went for a Big Mac, supersized it. I mean, everything that I would never do at home, I did it today. I'm gonna go to the campsite. It's uh, two blocks away. And I uh, got a surprise for you guys. Stay tuned. I've heard about this place from all the pilgrims. I saw them in a bunch of uh, blogs and I was just dying to get here. Check out the pot. You wanna go see inside? Come with me. Great place to recharge my batteries. There's a pool and they have a bar. So I got everything that I need and I'm under the trees. And so the day comes to an end. I had a uh, dinner. It was a pre-packed 
cold rice and uh, like a chicken wrap and uh, a brownie and a soda. I just I couldn't eat the whole thing. I I left half of it for tomorrow, maybe for breakfast or brunch. Who knows? Did I mention that I jump in the pool? <laughs> Check this out. That was exactly what I needed. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm gonna be walking about 20 kilometers. Not such a long walk. Should be able to do it in less than five hours. And uh, I'm gonna be staying with two nuns right across the street from a maximum security prison. What? Yeah, stay tuned. See you tomorrow.